how are we doing? And welcome back to another recap video! Not just any re recap video. Monday Night Raw. No. And a birthday! Yes. Just his birthday! And we finally got to see Endgame. Yes, we've seen Endgame. Bravo, Marvel. It was, really it was a good, good movie. It was an awesome movie. Sad that... Oh, you can't do spoilers. No. No spoilers. It's just sad at the end. Alright. Let's go to Monday Night Raw. Yes, yeah, start off with Kofi Kingston. He's coming out. And he just, he's just pretty much saying that he wants Brock to cash in on him. Yeah, because Heyman said that tonight they were supposed to announce... Who Res Lesnar's gonna ca uh, cash it in on? And then Lesnar shows up and he's no, got. Rollins is first. Right, Rollins. Co oh, yeah. And Rollins Both of them comes show up. out. And then he's just pretty much saying he wants Rollins. Uh, yeah, Lesnar. and then Brock Lesnar comes out with a new shirt called uh, Brock Party. And he's got the money in the bank. And what they did was they made it look like a boombox. So he's coming out going. <laughs> and then they're like saying, you know what? We're not gonna tell you yet. That's pretty much it. Yeah. And then Ziggler attacks um, he sneaks Kofi. Attacks Kofi Kingston. He's just attacking him. Then he grabs a chair. And then Xavier Woods comes out to help Kofi Kingston. And then he's back and forth with Woods and Ziggler. Yeah, and Ziggler just does that speech saying, I believed in you, Kofi. I believed in you. Well, that was you. after. Well, it doesn't matter. Does it hurt? Because then hit commercial. And then, well, for, before commercial, Kofi. Kofi ends up coming back out with a chair to defend. Yeah, I and mean, then we just get Ziggler to say he always believed in him, and it should have been hit, and it should have been Dolph getting the title. So he's like saying, "No, oh, don't worry, a super showdown. I'm gonna win it. I'm gonna be the winner." Mm -hmm. Then we get Shane McMahon. Well, also it was they're showing backstage with a little barbecue. Yeah, because not only is it my birthday, it's Natty's birthday. Yep, Natalia. So the Usos are throwing a party. Like a little memorial party thing. Oh, yeah. Then Shane McMahon, he comes out. Uh, and then, of course, he's talking first. And then he ends up going against, um, actually, it's a relative of Roman Reigns. Lance, I know why. Yeah, you didn't find out till after wrestling. Yeah. Um. So I kind of he's figured, related to Roman. I kind of figured because he was wearing a Roman shirt. Oh, so if I wore a Roman shirt, am I related to Roman? No, because you didn't. You don't look Samoan. You look Samoan. Racist. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Well, know. anyway, before the bell rang, um, Drew McIntyre's destroying Lance. All over the place, and Shane's like, "Come on, seriously, come on, get him back in the ring." Oh man, because Drew's just keep attacking them, and he goes, "Come on, come on, you, you, you." Shane wins by you, submission. You told him, you told him, okay, you made your point. Bring him back in. I might as well. I'm in the ring, and he made some it. Yeah, was that attack? It was that for Roman. Is that why? That's pretty much. He's yeah, super for Roman. And then, cause um, and then after Matthew's attacking him, and then Roman's coming out, and then Drew's going about to go after him, Superman punch. Then he's running after Shane. He's able to catch him, Superman punch. Then he got him back in the ring. He's about to do the spear, but Drew got him out of the way. Yeah. So. Roman defends his family. Yep. You don't go after my fan. All right, Brock. And then, um, it says something about Rey Mysterio. He's going to be relinquishing his title because he can't defend it, so. Yeah, he dislocated his shoulder. Yep. And then Joe's like, I'm going to take my title back. Yep. But then we got Brock then, Lesnar. Yep, he's back out again. Okay, let's see. Rollins comes out and he's demanding Lesnar fight him right now. Then Paul Heyman reads the clauses to the money in the bank. And Brock Lesnar says, I could hold it for a year? And then uh, Heyman said, yeah, until the next Money in the Bank pay-per-view. And then he's like, 
screw you, Rollins, and he just walks backstage. Yep. So guess what? Brock Lesnar is holding that 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 till probably next Money in the Bank, yep. like he usually does. Because usually that's what the new Money in the Bank rules are now. Wrestlers just wait, wait, wait till WrestleMania, cash it in. Yeah. Of course, you know it's Brock Lesnar. He will hold it for that long. <sighs> oh, here we go. And then it's the woman match. Becky Lynch and Nikki Cross. The Irish and the Scottish teaming up against... The Iconics. Because the Iconics... They're Australian, right? Yeah. Because the Iconics wanted a rematch. Well, um, but Becky Lynch and Nikki Cross end up winning. Um, Becky, Becky Lynch, made Becky made the Peyton one Royce tap out. No, did it like a slam move to, on the mat for the I win. I thought they'll make him tap. So here we go, title match. There you go. Let them win. There we go. Then Becky right, tree belts. And then right after. She won, Lacey Evans hit her music, and she's sitting there walking towards her and then walking. But isn't Lacey Evans a uh, Marine? Mm, yeah. So Memorial Day is for her. And then Bobby Lashley, too. Or any other superstar. Oh. And then next was Ricochet versus Zaro. Ricochet won. Spazin Ricochet won this time. And he actually did a really cool move. Yeah, he... Um, Cesaro was going to do the Swiss uppercut but to um, Ricochet, but luckily Ricochet got out of the ring. But then when Cesaro twisted, his back is on the back ropes, Ricochet does a handstand, grabs his legs, holds Cesaro by the neck, and then he does a hurricanrana, is that what yeah. they said? And then that that made Ricochet pin him. Yeah. I gotta get back up. I think we... Uh, we I said, I'm not doing no more displays <laughs> for the fans. That's embarrassing. Because <laughs> you ain't doing it. <laughs> you try doing this. You, you try. You try. Besides, I got hairy ass legs. You don't see no <laughs> other wrestler with hairy ass legs. No. Yeah. Yeah? Is that all you guys say? All right, go ahead. Ron Strowman, let's go. Yep. And now it's um, a fade of four way. Elimination match. Winner faces Universal Champion at Super Showdown. Okay, let's list it off because everybody knows this. Okay, Ron gonna... Strowman, not winning because him, because Bobby Lashley's right there in that match with him. So, him and Lashley ain't winning. Miz probably does deserve it, even though, congratulations Miz, you got another girl. Coming in the way. Yep, another baby girl for the Miz. Nope. Miz didn't win. In fact, the person who beat him is Baron Corbin. Disgusting. Okay, why are they pushing Corbin? Ugh. Seth Rollins is going to make Baron Corbin burn to the ground. Unless Corbin does something really stupid and actually wins and then Braun Strowman catches in against him and then there you go. Oh my god. That's, because, like I said, I loved WWE as a kid, but nowadays, it's getting really boring to the point where it's, you can see what's coming a mile away. Unlike what's going to happen. It's like, the minute, okay, Braun and Lashley end up disappearing, like, so they're out of the match. Because they kept fighting everywhere. And then, Miz, he was doing good, he was doing running knees, uh putting like his knees up to uh, Corbin in the corner he got Corbin he, let him do the running knee and then the third running knee me, he made it to an end of days and there you go win disgusting and then oh my god Firefly five, five, five fun house. house that thing was it's getting weirder and weirder every time it's not really it's getting, weird getting, it's okay let's see you just said that he calls the new persona Thing with the mask that almost looks like the joke with the looks like um the new 52 joker with the torn off face he uses it as a mask yeah he calls it the fiend and that's why he he's using it and he had back and forth little reaction with abby the witch and then they had um limbo he does his crab walk 
but there's two kids and they look like they're uninterested they're bored they're like what am i doing why what, what, what's come to my life mom why are you making me do this I even... shut up jimmy we're getting paid and you're gonna be famous because i wanted to be famous as a kid so shut up and do it there you go but but that didn't happen but that's how the kids look anyway and then there was this electric chair thing with Z Sammy Zane. Yeah, it literally it is an electric chair, but you, no one turned it on. Basically, it's, no. the, it's the WWE Universe asking Sammy Zayn. And here's what happened. Sa someone asked Sammy Zayn a question about why Sammy Zayn hasn't gotten, like, what's it? Why he hasn't cashed in for the uh, Universal Championship. And somehow, Sammy Zayn shot fired at AEW. Yeah, he said, why can't you answer me a question about AEW? Oh, I okay. mentioned you about AEW. Okay, here's the thing. Even All right. This is what's getting me. Me and Ash have been talking about this. We looked it up, and Ash knows that Dean's now in AEW. Yeah, John Moxley now. Cody Rhodes and Dusty Rhodes are there. Well, Goldust. Dustin. Dustin Rhodes. Dustin. But still, Dustin, Dusty. They're the Rhodes, bro. The, the American Dream Team. AEW is what is basically the Attitude Era of WWE. It's got the violence, it's got the cursing, it's not your mama. And for once, I looked in the audience, not one kid. So basically, this is a no holds bra bar wrestling thing. Sure, there may be drama and stuff, but it's not going to be as painful and obvious as WWE. So basically, if WWE ain't going to shape up, we're going to ship over there. <laughs> yep, and then <clears throat> Ron Sons are coming out. Well, we may watch NXT. Yeah. That's the only thing. Not Raw or SmackDown. NXT and AEW. Then Rollins comes out and... <clears throat> it ends up being Sami Zayn and Rollins. Yo, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, you say it. Rollins is your man. But burning down, Seth Rollins ends up winning against Sami Zayn. I'm just gonna say the last parts of the match. Okay, Z Sami Zayn. He's giving. He gives Rollins a blue thunder bomb, and it ends up being a near fall. But it goes, and then he goes for a suplex. But Rollins fights him off, and then Rollins goes for a frog splash, but Zayn gets the knees up for the two count. Then Rollins and Zayn are trade, trade punching. Because they're going back and forth, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then Zayn goes for a figure four leg lock, but Rollins kicks Zayn out of the ring. Zayn quickly gets in the ring, and Rollins clutches his knee in pain. Rollins follows it up with a second stomp for the win. So Sami Zayn got really hurt. So, yeah. And that is Monday Night Raw. Yeah, that's pretty much Monday Night Raw. Yeah. So, and also, this coming Saturday is NXT TakeOver 25. Yeah. Like I said, TakeOver... Anything with NXT, that is entertaining. Even though it's shorter, there are new people. They actually show up. They actually perform better. But it feels like when the, they come to WWE, they get pushed. Oh, yeah. Which I hate. Which is why I prefer the War Raiders to be on NXT. Because if they come to WWE, they're going to be pushed to the bottom. They're good. I like them. I like how they do. Look at heavy machinery. Yeah. Look at all them tag team wrestlers. I don't know why. Look what they're doing to Aleister Black. Him and Ricochet were tag teams. Aleister Black is good in NXT. Look what they're doing to him now. They won't even let him compete now. He just does promos. Uh. What you doing? Just do it. Let him fight. Why else would Black beat a match on SmackDown? You put him on SmackDown, give him a match, let him fight. We already seen him wrestle. What are you doing? That's just like 
you got they won't do that to Roman Reigns. They'll let him fight. He'll talk and then they'll fight. What? What are you doing? Me yawning is what is gonna be yawning why waiting for Aleister Black and match. Yeah. I think Aleister Black got screwed when he go to WWE. He should have done like Dean Ambrose and them. And even Sasha. AEW. Yeah. At least them, they're gonna treat they treat him with respect. He'll actually be able to do anything. But then again, he won't be called Aleister Black because WWE owns the uh, owns your ass. They own your name. They won't. He won't call himself Dean Ambrose. He's now John. He's now his real name. Well, yeah. Don Moxley. So. Chris Jericho's there for gosh sakes. Yup. So I say. We'll get. We try to find a way, figure a way how we can watch those matches. Because if it is more entertaining and stuff, I say we also go there. Even AEW, they're doing a match some uh, somewhere close. No, it's not AEW. Where is it? It's Northeast Wrestling. Northeast. With John Moxley going be there. Oh, so it's one of those um like high school matches. Yeah, almost like that, but yeah. But hey. You'll be able to meet him. Yeah. He said, One of these days, Justin, one of these days, I'm going to meet Dean Ambrose, and you ain't going to stop me, because I'm going to make him marry me. No. I'm going to make him divorce for Nate Young, and he can take me. Oh, my God. Oh, we already know that. Once uh, her, they already said it. Once her um terms are up, her contract's up, she's going to AEW. Yeah, that's an old thing. See, Renee Young, her contract's going to be ending soon, and there's rumors that she's going to AEW. How funny is that? Go wherever her husband is. I think that's the reason why they're putting those matches, like the brought the Goldberg Undertaker there for the um, Super Showdown, because they're, lo- they're probably losing ratings and fans to AEW. That's why they have to pull out all the oldie wrestlers to get the draw in the crowd. It's almost like animated movies. They don't do roles for actors. They make the role. They make the roles, but then they put the big time Hollywood actors in to do the voices, even though if it won't sound good, just to make money. Yeah. So, what did you thought of this Monday Day Raw? Did you thought it was alright? Did you thought it was okay? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be super critical because it is my birthday and it is our. It's what we do, Ashley. We're fans. We have to be critical because hopefully our voices get heard and we, because we're the fans. We deserve the right treatment for our matches and stuff. We deserve better entertainment and stuff from a company that's been around for ages, but yet they won't listen to us because, well, we're not rich. Yeah. But... I'm saying this was pretty boring. And it's not because we just came out seeing Endgame, which is way better. Oh. Because that's a movie, and that this is a show. But also, I have to give WWE little props, because they did a little TV uh, promo for the Godzilla movie. And you laughed your ass off, because the way how they sounded (laughs) out, it was like it was a wrestling match. Yeah, well, Godzilla... Godzilla and King Ghidorah. They actually had commentary for it. Oh my god. That was funny. It is funny. Because yeah. usually that, that's what a Godzilla movie is. is giant monsters duking it out and wrestling out. Uh, and wrestling. There you go. There's just no ring. The world is the ring. Yeah. So. So yeah. Uh, let us know. Yeah, I'm just giving wrestling a three. Yeah. Oh, we already know uh, Brock Lesnar's holding that shit in. Yeah, he's holding it. He's holding he's, that green tur that green turd in keep, that box in. He's gonna keep freaking pretending it's a boom box. <laughs> really, that's really weird. That was funny how he's, he was playing it like a boom box to Seth and He had a hoodie on ball. too. Like wow. And uh, and then and then backstage at the block the Uso block party. We have the Revival show up, and uh, Yomi invited them because she wants to make peace. It's a party. It's a party. You know what? And then they're 
playing hacky sack or something. Yeah, I'm playing games. And then the uh, the revival got heated because the Usos are winning. And then we see our truth running, running through again because he's a champ. That twenty four weird seven champion thing. Right. Just hearing that and seeing that just makes me cringe. Yeah. Mick Foley, we love you. You, you, we love you. Why didn't you like pull and just say it's the hardcore champion? Mm -hmm. That's another thing that's going to probably happen in AEW. They're going to have like some belt that's making it hardcore. One of those belts. Get the views in. People are going to love it. Dean Ambrose is going to be champ. Noxley's going to be champ. Because he's always that crazy to do it. Not. I know. I understand wrestlers. But it's ridiculous. It's just a gag belt. Not to be taken seriously. Look at it so far. All you see is wrestlers running across the ring and uh, running across every episode. It, it just. I am so frustrated by listening to that belt and talking about it. It's just. I can barely make, make words for it. Yeah. I just say it's stupid. It's just something funny for the kids and to save up time because they're running out of ideas for a three hour show. Yeah. So, um. Yeah. Just let us know. And make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe. subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Go, Lesson, go!